Greetings, chem beasts. This is AP Chemistry, and this is the Hydrate Lab. Now, we're going to be working with copper sulfate, okay? The formula is CuSO4, okay? But it's a hydrate, so it's called cupric sulfate pentahydrate. We talked about this in class, okay? You have a dot here which represents that it's a hydrate for the, the H2O, okay? There's five H2Os for every one copper sulfate, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be weighing out some copper sulfate, which is this right here, okay? Copper sulfate, pentahydrate, okay? And if you look at the label, it would say copper sulfate dot five H2O, okay? We're gonna be using a few different instruments. Okay, first of all, make sure that you're wearing your goggles. That's really important, okay? And if you have a lab coat or something like that, that's also really good because it prevents uh, things from splattering on your clothes. I'm wearing gloves also, which is also quite helpful to have. You don't wanna get dangerous things on your gloves, on your hands, okay? <clears throat> what we use here is we're using a Bunsen burner, okay? and we have a ring stand and uh, we're on the ring stand we're putting on a let's move this out of the way okay on the ring stand we have a triangle now you can push the triangle and make it a little bit smaller if you need to we can put the triangle on there and we're going to be using something called a crucible the crucible is a little thing it looks like a teacup okay it's metallic has a little lid to it, and we're going to be putting that inside the triangle. Notice this is called a triangle because it is three-sided. Makes sense, okay? We're going to be putting our crucible in here, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be weighing out, measuring out some copper sulfate, pentahydrate. Okay, we're going to weigh it out, and then we're going to <clears throat> we're going to take it and put it in here. We're going to heat it up. We're going to heat off all, evaporate all the water, as much water as we can, and then we're going to go ahead and calculate and see if we get out, get a ratio of, of moles, find out that the ratio, if we did this correctly, hopefully in a perfect world, the ratio would be five moles of water for every one mole of, of copper sulfate, which ties into what we've been talking about now, okay? This is the label of the copper two sulfate, pentahydrate. I always would check the hazard alert and check what it says. It says toxic if swallowed, may be harmful in contact with skin, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye irritation. Okay, I would always check that before you use anything. But it also gives you the formula there. All right, if you look inside, it's a bright blue. Bright, 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 bright blue. Blue crystals. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh our crucible, okay, the mass of the clean, dry crucible, okay. I'm going to tear my scale, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on there, okay. My mass is going to be, comes out to, for the clean, dry scale, is going to be, clean, dry crucible is 16 point nine six okay that's the mass of the crucible okay now I'm gonna put some solid in there okay so I'm gonna add oh a couple grams of it okay so we'll put about it's gonna come to 18 uh, let's put a little bit more in just in case okay and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, make a note of that all right, so that amount that we have now is 19.17. So if we needed to, we could figure out how much the copper sulfate is in the crucible, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So we would just subtract. We would take the amount that we have now, subtract for the clean, dry crucible, and we would get the amount of the copper sulfate, okay? So, good, so let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> let's go ahead and put this on top, okay, on the, here, on the triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and light, light it. Okay, and I turn on the gas. I can hear it going. I go ahead and light it. 
Okay. And it's going to go ahead and go. Nope, didn't work. Uh, okay. Light it again. Now, sometimes you might need to adjust the, the oxygen intake in the bottom. You notice how I have a book here? Because it's a lot better uh, to support the, the cord for the gas intake for the Bunsen burner. Okay? All right, so I'm going to heat it up now. <clears throat> Don't need too much, just enough to, to heat the bottom. Okay? And I'm going to take my tongs, okay? and I, I've left a little tiny opening here to let any water come out. So what we're essentially going to do is we're going to try and, try and basically evaporate the water out of the copper sulfate uh, solution, okay? Composition. <laughs> copper sulfate mixture. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm heating it up. Okay, I'm heating up the crucible. And if you look inside, okay, you'll notice that some of it's some of it's blue. Okay. You don't want to get too directly over it. Put that back there. So I'm heating it. Um, I want to heat it until it becomes white. When it becomes white, it's driven off all the water. Okay, the reason why it's blue is because of the water. The water that's um, combined with the copper sulfate. So we wait a little while. Okay, let's check it again. Okay, now I've been heating it for a while, and I'm gonna go ahead and look. Oh yeah, that looks looks like it's almost all white. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to lift it out. Okay, I'm gonna set it down briefly on the table. The table is heat resistant. Let it cool for just a few minutes. Okay. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on my scale. And I get 18.38. Okay, 18.38. So that's my, that's going to be the mass of the crucible plus the solid after the first heating. Okay. I take it, I make a note of that. <clears throat> then I go back, place it back in there, okay, get my cover, and I heat it a little bit more, okay. Okay, it's getting wider, okay, good. Okay, so I'm letting it heat for a while longer, okay? Now I'm going to do the uh, mass of the crucible and solid after the second heating, okay? Now a question I might ask you is, why do you suppose we do a second and a third heating? Okay, I guess the most common answer would be because by the time you get to the point where it's going to be constant and the, the mass doesn't change anymore, you know you've basically uh, burned off all the water, okay? So I'm gonna put it down for a second. You notice how it looks pretty white, okay? Remember it was blue before? Okay, I'm gonna put it on here. And it is a seven, okay? I think last time was 18.38. Okay, so we're getting a little bit less, but you know, Gonna, we're going to do one more. Okay, so you take it, put it back up there. We're almost done. Okay. And I'll put my lid on. Okay, we put the lid on because we want to keep the, you know, we don't want the copper sulfate to actually itself evaporate because it is really hot. We mainly just want the water. So we want a little space to let the water out, but we don't want to let everything out. 
Okay. Okay, I think we probably heated this long enough. So we will do, notice how I'm picking it up with the tongs. Notice the way I use with the tongs. I take the lid off and then I go ahead and shroud it like that. Take it out of the out of the ring stand, let it cool for just a couple minutes. <clears throat> Right, and then I'm going to put it on the scale and let's see what it turns out to. Okay, 18.38. I think we've come to the end. I think we burned off. Well, 18.37, 18.38, 18.7. Okay, roughly about that much. So I think we've come to the end. That's our third uh, third mass that we've gotten. I'll make a note of it. You make a note of it too on your worksheet. So notice how everything is, is totally white now. Compare that to what it looked like before, okay? So the water is gone, okay? No more water, okay? What happens if we add water to it, water back to it? What do you think is going to happen? Okay, let's find out, okay? I've got my, my uh, distilled water here, okay? And I'm going to add a little bit of it to to this. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Are you surprised? It's like blue again, right? Did I tell you? Ta-da!